Hello, this is Todd Tracy with the Tracy Law Firm in Dallas, Texas with another Todd Talk. I want to talk to you about autonomous or driverless vehicles today. A lot of times people ask me, well, what's the future of driving in these driverless vehicles? Well, I think we've seen just in the last couple of weeks here in July of 2016 that uh, driverless vehicles, they may be, uh, I think they're going to be a good solution in the future but we're not ready for them any time in the next 10 years or so. The way I look at driverless vehicles and autonomous vehicles, until I can turn my computer on every single day and it not have a computer glitch in it, or my TV remote not have a computer glitch in it, we are not ready for driverless or autonomous vehicles. Now, there are certainly some technologies that we are seeing with autonomous or driverless vehicles that we have in vehicles today that are excellent safety features. For example, blind spot detectors. When you're in your vehicle and you are getting ready to change lanes to the left or to the right, blind spot detection systems are wonderful devices because they incorporate blind spot detection systems with lane departure systems in place. How do they do that? They do it with cameras, they do it with a lighting detection system, and they do it with sensing systems. So the technology's there, but we're not there yet. But you give it 10 years, and uh, I think we'll be there. What do you say to people, though, that say, well, uh, we got planes on autopilot? Planes on autopilot are a completely different environment um, because you're at 35,000 feet or 40,000 feet and um, you, don't have, you don't have vehicles right next to you. You don't have a vehicle that's approaching you that's within feet of you. You gotta remember uh, the way the air traffic control systems work is if you get within 2,500 feet of a vehicle, or of, a, of an airplane, that's when their systems take place. When you're dealing with automobiles on streets, automobiles on highways, then it's a completely different environment uh, because streets are very narrow, the sky is wide open. And they're working on uh, driverless trucks now. Well, you know, I mean, that's what's really scary to me is because um, the driverless trucks, you, know, you already expect that the, the truck driver, they have, they have mandatory standards with regard to how many miles or how many hours they can work before they go to sleep. However, you know, the systems with regard to you know, trucks, you're dealing with 80,000 pounds of potentially lethal weapons, okay? And they're not just going to take out one vehicle. If you have an 18 wheeler driver that wrecks because of fatigue or because they're not focusing on the task at hand, um, they can wipe out five, six, ten vehicles uh, besides killing themselves. So um, I'm all for technology, get, don't get me wrong, but technology um, and the responsibility of a non-distracted driver, that's the key to um, technology and uh, driving safety.